Hey guys, here's the gear. Speedy shave today because I have to be out in like 15 minutes. So, uh, Sterling Smoky Grapefruit Usta is the blade. Titanium uh, 68 gap solid bar timeless is the razor for today. I'm shaving off two weeks of growth and I um, don't want to tax the Nasset with that particular operation. And so I grabbed another blade. The Usta doesn't have too many uses on it. It's one sent to me by a, a fellow viewer out there. And then I liked them so much I bought a bunch myself because it was working pretty well in some of the different razors that I had. Needless to say, because of speed today, I'm going to be using the slurry lather method I've developed. Okay, Usta is loaded up. And we won't need my little jigger for measuring water, uh, the tracking the water. I uh, will only need this just to put my brush somewhere uh, to set it down. Smoky Grapefruit. I bought it when it came on sale as a seasonal Black Friday type deal. My face is hydrated because I just got out of the shower. I'm going to just go ahead and start up here. Shake out a lot of the water. Not Maybe not as much as I usually do. I know that Sterling does well with the slurry lather type method. And I may kind of uh, butcher this method up a little bit uh, due to speed. My stubble here being so long is, well shoot, you could just call it a beard right now, is going to help agitate that lather for sure. 68 gap is a, a mild gap for the for the timeless, but I am confident it will take down this growth. It's got that nice big channel under the blade. Already that's a little bit more time I've spent on the that first lather with this particular method. And we'll start at the top and kind of work our way down and that way we and definitely some tugging going on here by starting at the top you you kind of help yourself out a little by cutting at the having the best chance to cut at the roots right away instead of another part of the hair is my theory yeah, see that kind of a buffing type method where you're just repeating the same area. Now there, oh, on my neck, I'll do a different method. I'm just going to cover the area kind of once. And what that often does is take down a sizable amount of the hair in one go. And while it can then be tuggy, the rest of the passes are, are more normal. Okay, I'm going to let the water dribble, put a few drops on my brush. Definitely going to do a live shave for the 500th shave of the Nasset. And so that will be upcoming. I, I'm going to, even if I have to kind of not use the Nasset for a little while, I'm going to make sure I can plan it out and give you guys some notice. Reason I picked Sterling today is because we have a bore brush from Zenith that we are putting together as a a group buy. And if you don't know what that is, is when you're part of a online community and the whole group gets together and says, hey, let's talk to a, a soap maker or a even a razor maker, but a, a brush maker, and let's get them to do a special run for just our group of a particular item. And uh, the most popular one by far, as I get a little bit of wetness here. Yeah, see already, 
with that wonderful slickness left over on my face. For the to do the job here. And so usually a soap is what is kind of put together for the uh, it's kind of a sub exclusive or a forum exclusive. You know, the Shave Nook has done exclusives, Badger and Blade, you know, has. I've got a few of those items. Sometimes they turn out to be really special products because uh, maybe it's a kind of bore brush that's rarely made, but, but guys have figured out exactly uh, where they might like for that not to be set in terms of a loft and in terms of diameter. And then sometimes that turns out to be a really coveted item for a long time because as it turns out, you know, they hit, they hit the mark with developing a good, with requesting a good product on Reddit, where I am most often found on the wet shaving subreddit. And this Usta Blade, by the way, is, is doing great. It was tugging at first, but you can kind of understand that with two weeks of growth. But this is my third pass, or shoot, this might even be just my second. Ah, it's probably my third. And uh, I've got a great shave. I don't think I need to do any more passes. Looking at my time, we're good. Um, soap is most often, you know, what is done. And, and on over on wet shaving, I've definitely done, uh, we've definitely done some exclusive, some group buys. Now, sometimes a group buy is to get a discounted price. There's no customization made to the item, uh, to a brush or something like that. Sometimes it's, uh, or, or maybe you might do a group buy if you want to bring back a product that's kind of been discontinued or not done very much. And the, the guy says, okay, listen, I don't mind doing it, but I need a certain number of people to buy it for me to ramp up effort on that particular product, you know, as the maker might say. Uh, but in this case, it was a brush, a bore brush from Zenith. It's the one they, one they call the big one. I think it's B35 or something like that. It's a really big 31 millimeter bore brush. I don't think the loft is going to be such that it's really open and flowy like uh, a couple of the Zeniths I have. I think it's going to be more on the stiff side, at least for a while. But uh, it's got this big chunky handle, and it's, uh, it's one that I've actually had on my list to buy. And then when the, when the group came along and said, let's make one just for our sub and request it, how many people are interested? Then a lot of pe enough people chimed in to have them move forward with the process. Well, it's an international buy because Zenith is over across the pond in Europe. And then we also have guys who are part of this sub, part of the forum, those are words interchangeable in this situation, uh, over in England that wanted to take part as well in Europe and other places like that. And so it was it all of a sudden, and nobody saw this coming, became a big deal to, uh, to pay um, for it, with exchange rates and things like that. And then it was a even bigger deal because it actually takes a special license to ship boar hairs, maybe just animal hairs, but may, I know for boar hairs specifically, um, to, uh, over here. And so it wasn't like we could just contact uh, Zenith and, uh, uh, and say, we'd like to order this many, just ship them to the U.S., you know, because of the customs and all the, the, the licensing and stuff. And and so it, it almost stalled as a project, you know, and, and nobody at all saw that coming. And what happened was that uh, uh, Rod at Sterling, and that's why I'm using Sterling today, the smoky grapefruit, um, because, and I'm going to be telling you guys about this for a while, because what a great thing it was. He, because he has boar brushes on his website, uh, because he sold them in the past, he had to obtain this kind of license. It, it, he had let it lapse because apparently he didn't need it, but he renewed his specific license at pretty good expense to himself, renewed that license just to help us out as a sub so that 
Uh, for those people in America who want these brushes, they can be shipped to Rod. Now, he may also be doing the international shipment, but I'm not sure about that. But so the, that whole load of brushes that the guy at Zenith is going to put together for us, it, they, we have a special little stamping, a little engraving on the brush. It's not too fancy, just a little bit. Our little Reddit logo, you know, and the, and the words uh, of the sub, that kind of thing. And maybe the year, you know. Uh, and, of course, the word Zenith. And they're going to ship all those brushes over to Rod because he's the one who has that specific license. And he is then going to ship them uh, out and uh, to the people. And, and number one, he renewed his license so that the, all this could happen. I picked the wrong day to explain this, didn't I? I don't have too much time left. Um, he renewed his license for that, that expense to himself. He also fronted the cost for all the brushes because we are going to send him the money um, because he, but he has to of course pay for them before he'll get them shipped to him. So he has fronted the cost of all the brushes. And so twice he has just helped us out. And then uh, once he receives them, he'll reach out to us and invoice us. We'll pay him. And man, I'm going to do it quickly because of the kindness uh, of him to help us out. And, and this is the kind of thing, you know, folks like Noble Otter, Barrister and Man, Sterling, uh, Mammoth, they, they just jump in and help the community uh, in, in such great ways. It's, it's terrific. All right, so that's three passes. And since I'm in a hurry, I'm not going to do any more. Um, I've got four and a half minutes left. I'm going to get a good rinse. You know what? Let's keep, go keep on going for just a little bit. I do have a few more minutes. And, of course, we have plenty of lather. Well, however much I loaded for was, was plenty of soap to get on the brush. So this pass, I guess, is the fourth one is just a fine-tuning pass. Not really needed. Everything got taken up. Picked up by the third pass. And this just feels smooth as silk. And the reason you might want to buy a timeless titanium instead of the stainless is to have the same form factor, the same width of the handle and all that stuff, but a lighter weight because the stainless in, in this particular configuration, you know, a lot of the timeless stainless items, they're, they're a little on the bulky side and you may like, and you may like the nimbleness that the easier weight offers you. Of course, it's expensive. Even the timeless stainless is expensive. Uh, but for me, if I didn't have any money, this kind of razor, and this may even be the one I might choose, probably the carve, to be honest with you, but this would be on my list to save up for. And if it took me four years to save up for it, I would, honestly. It's a beautiful piece of machinery, and it's so smooth. I am feeling a little bit of rawness, but, I mean, that's probably because I haven't shaved in two weeks. And, uh, they, and so there was just some of that tugging going on. So let us... Um, uh, I'm going to put on some of this. This is a great time for a little bit of skin healing with this Aqua Velva 5-in-1. And I've just got two minutes before my meeting. So uh, thank you to Rod at Sterling for helping us out on this, on this little project. And it just, uh, uh, thank you to the guys who had organized it. There was a team of guys working to put together all the pieces. And it turned out to be a, a lot more work than anyone uh, this thought it would be. So this uh, particular balm is just really terrific if you've got dry skin. Uh, it's just extra special and healing. Um, so check it out if you want Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1. And the nice thing is it's available in big box stores and pharmacies and places like that that, that sell shave stuff. Well, I better uh, rinse out my brush, get out of here. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll resume back with the NASA a little bit later. This is Sugar Day Shaves. Hope this helps you out. You guys take care.